Hey Doomers, it's September 21st, 2022, and you know it's about that time again to go through some climate news roundup, but first up, did we hear the threat of tactical nukes from Putin? Or tactical nuclear weapons? Don't. 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 Meanwhile, the UN Assembly's going on. Biden is set to speak soon. He says the pandemic is over. Fellow leaders. In the last year, our world has experienced great upheaval. A growing crisis in food insecurity, record heat, floods and droughts, COVID-19, inflation, and a brutal, needless war. A war chosen by one man, to be very blunt. Let us speak plainly. A permanent member of the United Nations Security Council invaded its neighbor. And Fiona has upgraded to a Category 4 and is heading towards Bermuda, I suppose? Yes, this is going to be a long string of events in regarding extreme weather. Let's go ahead and go to the news, straight to google.com, type in climate change, and see what is new. I already took a peek this morning. Uh, activists are blocking Boston traffic taken into custody several locations. Good morning. Climate change demonstrations happening right now in Boston. Our Todd Kaskiewicz is live there with protesters. Todd, what can you see from the ground? Well, Katie, good morning. This is Seaport Boulevard here heading into the seaport. Behind me, you see this group of protesters. They have shut down this bridge. They've been marching here from Post Office Square. Uh, by my estimate, we're probably looking at several dozen people, possibly 50 or more. They plan to be here for three massive storms slam the U.S. and Japan, each with climate change ties. This from Axios. The record North Atlantic marine heat wave threatens marine life from Axios. Little did you know, or maybe you did, because my subscribers are very privy to the events happening to our planet. A historic heat wave roasted the U.S. and Europe over the summer it may have subsided, but a record marine heat wave is gripping a large expanse of the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It has implications for marine species and extreme weather events, including hurricanes, warmer water, more energy, also massive amounts of dying sea life. Climate change could wipe out $108 billion from U.S. property market, study finds. No surprise, losing such an amount of private land over a few years could have far-reaching consequences, including threatening local economies. Um, yeah, Boston, getting, getting the highlights here of the news, protesters all over there. You know, my, my problem is not activism, not protesting is getting mass movements to get going. This is a this should have been done on a again on a public education notice, a, a, a public service announcement. You know, decades ago. Meat sauce. But profit. Profit over the health of the planet. Hochul, the new governor lady in New York. Um, she says she's in a unique position and remains to combat it to, you know, remains committed to leading the fight on climate change. Yeah. Latino people are indeed on the front lines of climate change. Misinformation spreads through Facebook. U.S. tax provisions are driving the fight against climate change. New tax credits re designed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We're just going to throw a little tidbit, you know, little crumbs at you to reduce your carbon imprint. And last but not least, the speaker, all, the, all these kinds of meetings going on, you know, around the world. Meetings of blah, blah, just more blah, blah. But we can be rest assured that solving climate change, speakers at SUU, I don't know where that is, some school, discuss importance of Republicans' engagement for solutions. Wow, some uh, Southern U University, Utah, that's right. Michael Olivet Center for Politics and Public Service hosts an event in the conjunction with the Citizens Climate Lobby and the C Smith Student C Center's Church Auditorium. That's a mouthful. Uh, the three primary impacts of climate change in southern Utah, for instance, are increasing temperatures, more extreme weather, and lifestyle consequences, says Dr. Jacqueline Grant, associate professor at SUU's geoscience department and longtime conservation biologist. Though over the last hundred years, Utah's temperature has risen two and a half degrees Fahrenheit. But let's put out carbon taxes and try to 
legitimize our way out of this by continuing to burn fossil fuels. How's that new rings of power on Amazon? The queen died. Did you know that? We're burying her this week. The distractions. The distractions from the deep state. I'm just being goofy, guys. This has been your September 21st What's Happening in the World Climate Update. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.